Hi friends, it's springtime. And in springtime, what do we usually see out in the yard? Robins. So I thought today we would draw this fun little robin with her babies that just hatched. So you're gonna need some color pencils, a marker, either washable or permanent. And if you wanna draw first in pencil and then trace it in marker and then erase, you can do that or I'm going to just draw right away in marker so you can see it. So let's get started. I'll put that up there and put my paper in the front so we can kind of look at it as we draw it. But the first thing you're going to do is go to about the middle of your paper and you're going to draw the head of the robin. So the robin's head is that type of shape. Now I'm drawing a marker so I won't be able to erase this. But if you draw it in pencil, later you can erase some of these shapes. And the next shape is the body. So if you look at the body, it's kind of another oval. So draw another oval right about there. Then you're gonna connect the neck. So you're gonna draw a line here, then just curve that line. Okay. Then you're gonna draw the tail and the tail kind of sticks out from the bottom. So it start at the bottom of the robin and go out like that. And then more like, almost like a triangle, it's gonna curve down, kind of have a straight edge like that. Now, this is where you would take your eraser and you would erase this line and you erase that line. Okay, but I can't do that. So, you do that, and I'm going to show you the next page where I have it already traced. And I'm going to trace it for, for you to see. So you're just going to keep that outside line in shape. Okay. The next, you're going to go up to where his her head is, or his head, and we're going to draw a beak. So you go to the end, come down, and then curve it in. And I like to curve it up a little so it looks like a smile. And then the bottom part of the beak, okay? And then a beak, you want to curve it back in here and there, okay? This bird is happy and just enjoying the day, so I'm making it kind of sleepy. If you want to make an eye with a pupil in it, you could do that too. Then they have a little bit of white right here. So just make something that looks kind of feathery. And then for the wing, come down a little bit from the back. Notice I'm not making the wing straight. I'm adding some wavy lines so it looks like feathers. Add a few lines in here for the tail feathers. Okay, and then go down and we're gonna add two legs and we don't have to draw the feet. That's what I like about this one is we can just go straight down and the legs get skinnier towards the bottom. And there's the mother robin. Okay, next we're gonna draw the babies. And the babies are really fun. You can kind of draw their little face however you want, but you go down by the mother and you draw a jagged line. And if you watch my video on how to draw a chick, it's the same thing. So we're gonna make three jagged lines. That's where the babies are gonna go. And then draw a U shape underneath. Good. Now the babies are pretty simple. What you're gonna do is draw the head first and then make it a little bit fatter for the body and then a little tiny beak. It's just two triangles, like it's singing. And then another sleepy eye. And then you could add little wings on the side like that if you want. Now I made mine kind of going different directions. You can make them all going the same direction. You can make one of the eggs not hatched yet. That's the great thing about being the artist, you get to decide. Let's make the head. Make the wings and then the little beak. Okay. 
And then it's going to be a nest here, so you can draw in some lines to be the sticks. And you want to draw them over the mother robin's feet. Because you're not going to see her feet. Her feet are in the nest. Now you can kind of see where I outlined my background. Um, I just did that so I would have some idea to make it look very similar to this one. But you can change up the background however you want. Um, I put in some clouds. So the way to make a cloud is you just make some wavy lines. Okay, these are fluffy, happy clouds. Okay. And they're going to go right behind the mother robin. You might want to make a small one in front. This is called overlapping. It gives your picture some depth. Now, I don't know how many of you play music, but robins are known for their beautiful song in the spring. So I thought, let's just add some music notes in the air. So you could put any kind of music notes. Quarter notes, eighth notes. And I'm just gonna color them in. All right, now, this nest right now is just floating, so we need to add the tree. So you want to start at the bottom. You want to draw a thick branch that connects up to the nest. And then, shooting off from it, just draw some football shapes. And you can make some overlapping. You could add lines in there if you want. It's up to you how much detail you want to add. I'm gonna make that nest a little bigger. Birds are so uplifting. They're just fun to see and listen to. And then this seems to need something. It's kind of blank space. So I'm gonna make a long branch. And then at the very top, if you look at branches, a lot of times at the very tip, they will have a leaf and then they kind of alternate. And just make some lines in there. Perfect. Now the fun part, you get to color it, okay? And you can color your robin realistic, or you can make up your own colors. It's up to you. But what I want you to try with your colored pencils is doing a little bit of mixing. So even though they're called robin redbreast, it's really more orange. So you could take your orange. Now I'm kind of coloring fast, just so it doesn't take as long. But you could take your time. If you make shorter color strokes, it'll look smoother. But like I said, I'm kind of coloring fast. Color orange, and then in some spots, not everywhere, add a little bit of yellow. See how that makes it pop? And then if you want to add some red in there, just mix a little bit of red. It doesn't have to be everywhere. But just put a little bit of red. So bright and cheerful. And then the beak, a robin's beak is yellow. But then put just a little bit of orange on there and see what happens. See how it kind of pops? Now their feathers, you could do gray or brown or you could do a mixture. I'm gonna do, since I don't have a black, I, a gray, I have a black. I'm just gonna color with my black, but color really light. That makes gray. And then take your red, or if you have pink, you can use pink, and just add a little bit right where the cheek is. That just gives it a little bit of depth. And you can take your brown, and you can mix a little brown onto the feathers, like that. And when you color, you wanna go all in one direction. You don't wanna color 
too many directions. Otherwise, if you do that, then it won't look very smooth. So try to mostly go one direction. And a robin's egg shell is blue. So if you want to be accurate, you want these little guys down here coming out of blue shells. And when you color the leaves, do the same thing like I said before. Try mixing some colors. If you want to make your green darker, add a little blue to it. If you want to make it lighter, add a little yellow on top of the green. So now we're going to color the whole thing. There you have it, a happy little robin.